welcome to my channel. My name is Angela. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today's video is going to be a little different. There are no clothes in today's video whatsoever. If you've been watching my channel, you know that it's all about beauty, fashion, and life. So I decided to change it up a little bit. So we're going to talk about perfume. Now here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different perfumes that I'm going to review for you. I'm going to show you these are all in my perfume collection. My collection is very small. <laughs> Lies. It's not. My perfume is not very small, but it is small. And everything in my collection I really enjoy because I test them out before I purchase. I do not blind buy. I go in the store, I'll spray it on my skin, and I'll spray it on my clothes because sometimes the perfume doesn't mix well with your pheromones and your skin, oils, or what have you, and the performance is not that good. It just doesn't smell the same. So I'll do that. I'll walk around the mall for about 45 minutes, and then if I keep sniffing and I really, really like it, then I'll purchase. So I do enjoy all of the perfumes in my collection. What I'm going to show you today, they vary in base note, performance, sillage, and I do enjoy them all for different reasons. Now, let's go ahead and get started. So the first fragrance I'm going to talk about is this Marc Jacobs Decadence. It smells so good. This fragrance is warm, it's full-bodied, it's spicy, it's grown. For me, this is confidence in a bottle. If I were to look at a woman to represent this fragrance, she would have on a, a nice, true fitted skirt suit with some red bottoms, hair pulled back in a ponytail or a bun, just very neat, a nice rich red lip. She's present when she walks in the room, no need to introduce herself because everybody knows she's there, that sort of woman. This is not for the faint of heart, this is just amazing. This has been my favorite fragrance all winter long. I think this is probably going to be one of my all-time top 10 fragrances. It's beautiful. It has a top note of plum, iris flower, and saffron, middle notes of Bulgarian rose, jasmine, sunback, and orris and base notes of vetiver, papyrus woods, and liquid amber. Absolutely beautiful. So my next fragrance is this Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. This is amazing. It's so good. It's crisp, it's clean. Soleil Blanc means white sun in French. I don't speak French. Je m'appelle Angela. <laughs> That's all I know. This would be a perfect wedding scent. It's vibrant, it's sexy, it's modern, just clean. I would wear this in the summertime with a white linen dress or a white linen top with a long flowing skirt with some gold sandals and some gold earrings and a basket purse. This is just this is amazing. This is from Tom Ford's private collection, so uh, she she's a bit expensive. I'm just going to, you have to look it up for yourself. She's expensive. It has top notes of, let me go to my notes, cardamom, pink pepper, and pistachio. It has middle notes of ylang ylang, Egyptian jasmine, and tuberose, and it has base notes of benzoin, amber, tonka bean, and coconut milk, of all things very fresh, very clean, it's not loud. This is definitely a spring, summer scent. I think it needs that heat to make it perform even better. Um, the sillage is, is not, not really there. It's not a bold scent, so it doesn't float out when you're wearing it. It's just clean and fresh. It's something that someone would smell if they're very close to you, if you've been intimate, not necessarily that kind of intimate, but intimate. It's that sort of fragrance, just absolutely divine. So my third scent is this Versace Dylan Blue. Mm, it smells so good. It smells, it's very feminine. It's really fruity. It's sweet. It's fresh. It's a very, very good everyday scent. It's not loud, not in your face, but very appropriate. It has top notes of black currant, Granny Smith apple, and clover accord. I have no clue what that is. Um, middle notes of eglantine rose, infusion of peach and jasmine, and base notes of white woods, musk, and patchouli. 
It's very refined, sensuous, powdery, sophisticated, comfortable, and beautiful. Mm, I like this. So my next fragrance is this Amouage Honor. Now this here is the travel size. I got the travel size kit and it has this and has, uh, I think it's three milliliters and it comes with two additional milliliters when this is finished. Um, and I bought the travel size because it's very expensive and I wanted to make certain that I really, really like it before I commit it to a full size. But you can see the picture of the bottle here. The bottle is very beautiful. This perfume originates from the Middle East, Oman to be exact. You can look at the bottle and it has very distinctive Middle Eastern sort of structure. It's very, very good. It's very complex, very layered. It's very flowery. It's not loud or in your face very feminine. This looks like a woman in a satin skirt and some pointy heels with some just some pearls and a little dainty purse. She's beautiful but she's elegant. This has top notes of coriander, pepper, and rhubarb. It has middle notes of tuberose, jasmine, gardenia, lily of the valley, and carnation. And it has base notes of frankincense, vetiver, opoponax, amber, and leather. So you can see with all those ingredients, it's very complex. This is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. This is something that smells very spring-like to me. You can wear it in the summer. Actually, you can wear this probably in the fall. Not, it's not heavy enough for winter in my opinion, but this is just my opinion. But this is something you could wear for at least nine out of the 12 months. It's really, really pretty. I don't know if this would be necessarily work appropriate. It's, very floral for work. It's not an everyday fragrance. This is a special I'm gonna go out for this weekend and I just wanna look beautiful or smell beautiful type of fragrance. My next scent is this Chanel Gabrielle Essence. I also have the regular Chanel Gabrielle, but this one is a little bit different. Oh, this smells so good. It's bright, it's fruity, it's floral. It's modern. This is a great everyday scent. This is not loud either, but the sillage is really, really nice. The performance is okay, which means it doesn't last really long. If you're gonna put this on in the morning, you're definitely gonna need to take either a travel size with you or take the bottle with you if you want to smell like this all day long. It's sweet, it's sexy, but not overly sexy. So again, that makes it a great everyday work type perfume. It's just really pretty. Of course, you really can't go wrong with Chanel. Number six is this beauty here. It's La Vie et Belle. It's beautiful, it's sweet, it's sexy, it's fruity, it's vanilla, it's powdery, it's grown woman. This is a very popular scent, very well-known scent. People who are in the perfume industry, you, you walk by and they just catch a whiff of this, they'll know exactly what you're wearing. It's very polished, it's not complex. A little bit goes a long way. You don't need much of it at all. It has great longevity, which means it lasts six, seven, eight, nine hours. Don't need to reapply this much at all. It's just very beautiful. It has top notes of black currant and Tunisian pear, middle notes of iris, jasmine, and orange blossom, and base notes of Indonesian patchouli, vanilla, tonka bean, and praline. It sounds edible, like a gourmand. This is beautiful. Okay. Scent number seven is Joy by Dior. And as you can tell, I absolutely love this. Look at that bottle, it's half, actually it's over halfway empty, honey. I need a new bottle. This is beautiful. It's simple, it's clean, it's modern, it's fresh. This is a very spring, summer fragrance. It's bright, it's just pretty. It's really, really pretty. It's simple, it's not very complex but it's really, really pretty. This is a great maxi dress or even a, a mini dress, but not a fitted mini dress, an A-line mini dress type fragrance. It's really pretty. It has top notes of bergamot and mandarin, middle notes of jasmine, rose, peach, and a dash of cassis, and base notes of woods, musk, benzoin, and patchouli. Very beautiful. Sit number eight is this Bulgari Rose Goldia. This is a very, very feminine fragrance. Look at the bottle. You can tell this is very feminine. It's very flowery, it's very warm, very rosy. 
If you don't like floral scents or like rose type scents, you will not like this. It's pretty, it's soft, it's seductive, it's romantic, it's just beautiful. This is a spring or fall scent. I think in the summer it just would be too loud with all the heat. And in the winter, I guess you could wear it in the winter, but it's so floral you wouldn't really want to wear this in the winter. It's very pretty. It's very, very pretty. <laughs> this has top notes of pomegranate, musk, rose, and bergamot. Middle notes of jasmine, peaches, and peony. I know my husband says peony, but I say peony. I'm sure that is incorrect. What do you say, honey? Peony. Peony, peony, tomato, tomato. But it's in here. <laughs> says base notes of musk, sandalwood, vanilla, and olibanum. I don't even know what olibanum is, but it's beautiful. It's really, really pretty. This is Sunday to church or after church. It's just very beautiful. And last but not least, this Coco Chanel Mademoiselle. beautiful. She is clean, refined, poised, sophisticated, classy, elegant. This is a great, great signature scent. This is First Lady appropriate. First Lady Finkley. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. This is beautiful. Mm, this can be worn year round. It's an all around scent, but it just smells elegant. It smells rich, wealthy. It's just it's Coco Chanel. Man. Um, it has top notes of orange, mandarin orange, orange blossom, and bergamot. It has middle notes of mimosa, jasmine, Turkish rose, and ylang ylang. And base notes of tonka bean, patchouli, opoponax, vanilla, vetiver, and white musk. Very complex, really, really nice. The longevity is really, really nice. This will last you six to eight hours, depending on where you spray or how much you spray. Um, you can spray it on your clothes if you want it to last even longer, but some people don't recommend you do that. Again, it's up to you. It's your perfume. Do what you'd like to do, or do what you want to do, rather. But this is absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I know while I was talking about these perfumes, there may have been some terminology that you weren't familiar with, so let me explain. The first is sillage. You ever been walking and all of a sudden you just get hit with this whiff of man, it just smells so good and you just, it makes you turn your head to try to figure out who that was that had that scent or where that scent is coming from. That is called sillage, the scent that's left behind or that lingers behind you when you're walking. Now, longevity is how long the perfume lasts on your skin or on your clothes. Most of the time, the Eau de Parfum lasts six to eight hours, the Eau de Toilette only lasts a few hours, and the actual parfum lasts um, the longest. Everything depends on your skin, your hormones, your pheromones, how long it lasts. On clothes, it's a little different, but mixed with your oils, your body oils, your lotions, and that sort of thing, that will determine how long the perfume lasts on your individual skin. You heard me talking about top note, middle note, and base note. Middle note can be called heart note or middle note. So the top note is the note that you smell when you go into the department store or whatever store you go to and you spray, that's the immediate scent that you get. The middle note or dry down is the scent that you get after you sprayed it on and you walked around 15, 20 minutes and you smell again, it smells the same but a little different, that's your middle note. And after it dries completely down, alcohol is evaporated, that is your base note. So if you're accustomed to smelling perfumes, you'll get three different scents based on when you apply the scent to your skin. Thank you so much for watching. And do me a favor, in the comment box below, let me know what your favorite perfume is. Again, thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope you appreciate it. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them in the comment box below and have a blessed day. Whoo! I have a tired up in this piece.